Hello everyone. In today's video, we're going to watch Kevin do grocery shopping. We're going to learn so many interesting vocabulary. After that, we're going to practice your listening and speaking skills. Don't forget to subscribe and let's get started. Hi everyone, it's Kevin here. When I opened the fridge this morning, I thought I had some food left to prepare my breakfast. But I guess I was dreaming because when I opened it, it was basically empty. I can see there are some items like ketchup, soy sauce, tomato sauce, water, yogurt, and some fruits. But I really need some eggs in the morning. So I'm just going to have this fruit salad with yogurt and I'll be on my way to the supermarket. For my grocery shopping, I favor large supermarkets. They offer a broader range of selections and their products are more budget friendly. I typically avoid mini markets unless I have a specific need for individual items. It's time for our weekly grocery shopping. So let's grab a shopping cart. As a regular customer, I'm familiar with the product locations but in moments of confusion, I rely on the section signs that help me to get around. I start with the heavier items first, placing them at the bottom, so later I can stack lighter items on top. I'll get three packs of pasta. I'll add to my shopping cart a pack of 100% pure Thai jasmine rice. I'm a bit lost now. Let's rely on those section signs to find the aisle for tomato sauce. Here they are. Let's pick up a bottle of tomato basil and another of Alfredo sauce. I usually take the time to prepare my own homemade tomato sauce, but with a busy week ahead, I'll opt for the convenience of grabbing these pre-made sauces. It's time to choose an Italian extra virgin olive oil for both salad dressing and cooking. Let's not forget sea salt and pepper for general seasoning. I'm not a big fan of canned food, but I couldn't find raw beans. So I'll just grab this can of beans for now. Although fig jam is my favorite, it's not available. So I'll have to opt for the strawberry one. Let's go to the beverage aisle. I'll skip the mineral water because I always order from a delivery service. I don't drink much soft drink, but let's get a bottle for the weekend. I'll get two cans as well. A pack of six bottles of sparkling water. I need to get some items from the cold section, including fresh beverages such as orange juice and fresh milk. Let's take unsalted butter and as for the cheese, I'll choose Le Petit Brie. I'll skip frozen food this time. Now, let's understand the new words introduced in this video. In the sentence, I thought I had some food left. 
The phrase food left refers to the assumption or belief that there was still some remaining or unconsumed food in the fridge. Grocery shopping is the activity of purchasing food and household items from a store or supermarket to meet one's daily or weekly needs. In the sentence, I favor large supermarkets, the verb favor means to have a preference for or to show a liking or support for large supermarkets. In the phrase, they offer a broader range of selections. The term broader range refers to a wider or more extensive variety of choices or options. Budget friendly. This compound adjective suggests that the products are designed to be affordable and considerate of a customer's budget. The verb avoid means to deliberately stay away from or refrain from engaging in something or to prevent encountering a person, place, thing, or situation. Weekly is an adjective that pertains to something occurring, appearing, or being done once every week or every seven days. A shopping cart is a wheeled cart or basket provided by retail stores for customers to use while shopping. A regular customer, often referred to as a loyal customer, is someone who frequently patronizes a particular business or establishment. When you say you are familiar with a person, place, concept, or topic, it means you have some degree of understanding or recognition of it. The verb really means to depend on or have confidence in someone or something. In a supermarket, section signs refer to the signage or labels that indicate different categories or sections of products within the store. Here are some examples. You can pause the video to have a look at it. Place an item at the bottom is an instruction to position a particular object or objects in a lower position within a container or storage space. The verb to stack means to arrange in layers. The verb to add means to include, join, increase, combine, and contribute. An aisle refers to a passage or walkway between rows of shelves or displays in a store, supermarket, library, or any large enclosed space. In the phrase, own homemade tomato sauce, the word own serves to emphasize that the tomato sauce is made by the person referring to it. The verb to opt means to make a choice or decision, typically among several alternatives. Something pre-made refers to a product or item that has been prepared in advance, typically before reaching the consumer. Salad dressing is a sauce or liquid mixture used to enhance the flavor of salads. Seasoning refers to the process of adding salt, herbs, spices, or other flavoring agents to food to enhance its taste. Canned food refers to food items that have been processed, preserved, and sealed in airtight containers, usually metal cans. Raw beans refer to beans that are in their natural, uncooked state. Sparkling water is water that has been infused with carbon dioxide under pressure, creating bubbles and carbonation. When a product is labeled as unsalted, it means that no salt or sodium chloride has been added during the manufacturing or preparation process. Now it is your chance to elevate your speaking skills. Listen to the sentence twice and repeat. When I opened the fridge this morning, when I opened the fridge this morning, I thought I had some food left to prepare my breakfast. I thought I had some food left to prepare my breakfast. But I guess I was dreaming because when I opened it, it was basically empty. 
but I guess I was dreaming because when I opened it, it was basically empty. I can see there are some items like ketchup, soy sauce, tomato sauce, water, yogurt, and some fruits. I can see there are some items like ketchup, soy sauce, tomato sauce, water, yogurt, and some fruits. But I really need some eggs in the morning. But I really need some eggs in the morning. So I'm just going to have this fruit salad with yogurt and I'll be on my way to the supermarket. So I'm just going to have this fruit salad with yogurt and I'll be on my way to the supermarket. For my grocery shopping, I favor large supermarkets. For my grocery shopping, I favor large supermarkets. They offer a broader range of selections and their products are more budget friendly. They offer a broader range of selections, and their products are more budget-friendly. I typically avoid mini-markets unless I have a specific need for individual items. I typically avoid mini-markets unless I have a specific need for individual items. It's time for our weekly grocery shopping. So let's grab a shopping cart. It's time for our weekly grocery shopping. So let's grab a shopping cart. As a regular customer, I'm familiar with the product locations, but in moments of confusion, I rely on the section signs that help me to get around. As a regular customer, I'm familiar with the product locations, but in moments of confusion, I rely on the section signs that help me to get around. I start with the heavier items first, placing them at the bottom, so later I can stack lighter items on top. I start with the heavier items first, placing them at the bottom so later I can stack lighter items on top. I'll get three packs of pasta. I'll get three packs of pasta. I'll add to my shopping cart a pack of 100% pure Thai jasmine rice. 
I'll add to my shopping cart a pack of 100% pure Thai jasmine rice. Let's pick up a bottle of tomato basil and another of Alfredo sauce. Let's pick up a bottle of tomato basil and another of Alfredo sauce. I usually take the time to prepare my own homemade tomato sauce. I usually take the time to prepare my own homemade tomato sauce. It's time to choose an Italian extra virgin olive oil for both salad dressing and cooking. It's time to choose an Italian extra virgin olive oil for both salad dressing and cooking. Let's not forget sea salt and pepper for general seasoning. Let's not forget sea salt and pepper for general seasoning. I'm not a big fan of canned food, but I couldn't find raw beans. So I'll just grab this can of beans for now. I'm not a big fan of canned food, but I couldn't find raw beans. So I'll just grab this can of beans for now. Although fig jam is my favorite, it's not available. So I'll have to opt for the strawberry one. Although fig jam is my favorite, it's not available. So I'll have to opt for the strawberry one. Let's go to the beverage aisle. Let's go to the beverage aisle. I'll skip the mineral water because I always order from a delivery service. I'll skip the mineral water because I always order from a delivery service. A pack of six bottles of sparkling water. A pack of six bottles of sparkling water. Orange juice and fresh milk. Orange juice and fresh milk. I'll skip frozen food this time. I'll skip frozen food this time. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Thanks for watching and see you next time.